What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 6 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode that we are using Zilla FC, that is our team. And for this episode, we have a lot of matches to sim over. This two, I'm going to be simming past them with my second team. And then for the match against Hull City, I'll sim with my first team. The FA Cup, I want to take that a bit seriously, so I'm going to be using my first team to play the matches. And I'm going to sim past the Barnsley match and then... I'm going to play the Millwall match and then the match against Fulham. Then that will be all for the episode. And I also forgot that Kamavinga will be coming into our team as soon as we enter into the transfer window. That's the first match for Hull City. He will be available for that match. So I hope that he will do very well because he's going to be playing in Devil's position for now until Devil comes back from injury. And when Devil comes back, then he's going to replace Faulkner in the team. Then for the league standings, we are currently 11 points ahead of the second place team. And uh, if you look, <laughs> the goal starts are the goal starts are absolutely absolutely crazy. Like I have 70 goals, then I've been scored 18 goals, and my goal difference 52, which is like a lot more than any other team I can see out here. I think. The next after me will be Sheffield United, which is on 21. My goal difference is higher than their points. That's how bad this is. <laughs> so I'll be using my second team to same part this match. Let's hope that we can get a second win over Huddersfield. And we do. Avchi scored and Gasama scored as well. So for the second match against Middlesbrough, we're going to be using our second team as well, like I said earlier. And let's hope we are able to get the win. We are home. And we do. That was a really, really good win. 3-1. Uh, Avchi, Avchi got a hat-trick. That is so cool. I think he's the first player in the team to get a hat-trick, if I'm not mistaken. And that did get him into the top five scorers of this team. We have J. Don Rivera, Logan DeVoe, Karim Zaid, George Faulkner, and Serkan Avchi from Turkey. We're now in the transfer window. Harry Singh has left because Kamavinga has joined the club which is absolutely amazing. So here is what our first team looks like now. Eduardo Camavinga is currently in the spot where Devo is supposed to be, but he's going to be switching either to George Faulkner's role or Strandberg's role. I might change it to a 4-3-3 flat so that it will be all um, cent center mids. But for now, it's two center mids and a defensive midfielder. Kamavinga is the new player in Zilla FC. Next match against Hull City and we're going to sim past this match with our first team. I think I just saw Suho was an 80 already. We do win the match. Rivera scores. Suho, Rivera and Rivera score again. So that is 22 goals for Rivera if I'm not mistaken. He's really he's really flying in his first season to be honest. So we're going to sim past all these matches all the way to the Millwall match. And then we'll play the Millwall match and the Fulham match and we'll end the episode there. Uh, are we going to get the win in the FA Cup? We do. 3-0 in our first FA Cup match. There should be another one coming in. Yeah, I just knew it. I just knew it. I, I, I have to stop the sim. Okay, so we're going to play this match against Millwall right here and then we'll sim past the FA Cup match. We should be able to win that, no problem. I don't even know what team that is. What team is that? Barrow. Well, we should be able to win against whoever the hell Barrow is. Okay, so as far as I know, the major improvements here are Suho, Rivera, Zaid, Deverda, Alrahal, and Torralton. I think Bakari was only 77 when he started, so I think he also improved. So we're almost close to an all 80 rated squad. It's just our right back and our midfield that's less than 80. So I think this should be a side that should be able to compete in the middle t in the middle regions of the Premier League. Although I still feel like we might be able to actually. We simply have to focus on this man. In imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the championship. 
It's the Blades, and they take on Millwall. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just look at the record. Best in the league, Stuart. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan, and a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff. And now they get the ball rolling. Zaid. In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, possibilities inside the box. Kamavinga. It looks promising. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Attacking possibilities for the Blades. Can they take advantage? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Romeo. And a fantastic diving save. So the corner played into the box. Really wanted to get it past the first defender then. And now, passing it through, tries to lift it, oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile, the goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Bradshaw. Promising attack, this. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure here. on. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And he's made headway. It's still alive. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Can they get in behind them? Play towards the back post. Well, clattered away. And beating the defender. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Happy to take on the shot. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Giving the ball away. And the attack looks promising. Can he finish? He must finish, and a really good diving stop. Attacking possibilities for the Blades. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Now oh, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Evans, and Malone on the ball. And space for the cross. Not really the ideal clearance. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just?
Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, for much of this match, they've controlled the tempo of the game and deserve... The crossbar got in the way! Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. It's a second goal for West Brom. They're pulled ahead by two with 87 minutes played. Real chance. Not out of the woods yet. Over the touch. What can they do from this situation? So the corner played into the box. And an effective clearance. And the Blades could threaten on the flank. And there it is, the final whistle. What? You have to be kidding me, the ref couldn't just wait for the final attack to finish, what the hell was that? Yo, that was supposed to be a goal though. I mean, even though we're already winning, just, just imagine it was freaking 1-1. I would have lost my shit right now because, come on, come on, really? Anyways, I think Kamavinga did pretty well, even though he wasn't able to get a goal. Well, he's playing centre mid, so he... Wasn't really set up to score a goal, although he had two chances, I think. But I think one of them got blocked. But we have received the all clear for Logan Devote to return back to the team. And now I can finally arrange the team in the way I want to. He's not going to play any matches yet because he's still um, not fully, fully, fully fit for play. So I'm just going to put him on the bench. Maybe he's going to come in as a sub for the next match that we're going to play. Now we're just going to sim this match against Barrow and let's see what we're going to do. Okay, Shagari scored and Kamav Kamavinga has gotten his first goal for the club. That is that is good. Uh, Rivera missed a penalty. That is his second penalty that he's missing. The first one, I mean, he shouldn't have missed that. I just took too much time because I was trying to look at who is the best penalty taker. And next up is the match against Fulham. I realize we don't really use our, our away kits that often. There's only one to use if I if I remember, but I mean our home kit is just just doesn't clash with anybody else's. I mean, so most of the time I always use my home kit. But I, th I think for the next away match, if the um, home team is not going to clash with my team's away kit, like the way Fulham will clash with my team's away kit. So, and I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Fulham against the Blades. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Dangerous looking through ball. He's in here. Strandberg. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. And do they mean business on this occasion? Crossing into the middle. Smart stop. Over it comes. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And he's in. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And now the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy.
there to take it away. Takes the shot, and there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined. Well, as you can see, it's a good finish. It just goes in off the post. It's perfect placement. Wilson. Must be. Chance, maybe. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equal... Showing a lot of guile there. And he might profit here. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. I'm just hearing something has happened in the Cardiff City game. Let's find out exactly what. Here's Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Nottingham Forest. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 65 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Oh, a nice looking pass. And the alarm bells are ringing. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only You're one... On EA TV, and Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Well, that's a pass of high quality, and nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Goal between them. Still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Now can they counter clinically? And the cross goes in. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing in all honesty. Thank you, Alex. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. And he's fired over the corner. Now a decent position. And a good take under duress there. And there it is. God. <laughs> that was the toughest match I have played since I started this series. The completely battered me but i was just able to come through with that one goal with Jadon rivera and well he's he's the star man of the team now as far as i'm concerned it's no it's no longer karim zaid although it was karim zaid that gave him the assist as usual it was still it was still a very great performance from Fulham. all right it's transfer deadline day and this is what the team stats look like Jadon rivera is leading with 28 goals and seven assists Logan DeVoe is back, but he hasn't scored any goals and he's still on 14 goals and 3 assists. Karim Zayed wasn't able to catch up with him and he's still on 13 goals and he has 14 assists, which is, I think, the league the league highest, if I'm not mistaken. And then George Faulkner with 11 goals and 6 assists. Uh, I can't believe that Avchi, I can't remember his first name, Serkan Avchi is has scored higher goals, has scored more goals than Lee Suho. I think he should be in the starting 11, if not for the fact that he was just 76 rated. Suho has better stats and is he's more like a supportive winger than a goal scorer. So, I mean, I'm still going to keep him in the starting 11. Then on the table, we have knocked Foham down to fourth. Or I think they were fourth before the match started. But now they have to compete against Nottingham Forest for that 
fourth place, even though it doesn't really matter if you get third to sixth because they're still going to play in the same league to be able to get into the Premier League. But Sheffield United is the one that's on our table. We are far, far ahead of them. I think that is 17 points. So I think we are clear. We are clear, but I, we still haven't officially won the league yet because they're still... I mean, if I lose all my matches and they win all of theirs, they're going to be able to pass me and win the league. So hopefully I'll be able to catch when we do get to win the cup. And well, this is the end of the video. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop comments on what you want to see in this series in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.